Welcome to the Frontline Leadership video series. I'm Greg Schinkel from Unique Training and Development, and we've created this series to give frontline supervisors, managers, and team leaders the skills they need to succeed in their role. For example, we'll be covering a wide variety of topics such as communication skills, how to listen more effectively, how to tap into the natural motivators that employees have, and how to take a positive coaching approach. Coaching! Coaching! This isn't a hockey team we're running here. My goodness, it's in your face. That's the way I learned from my boss. He had the job for a long time. And when I took over, you know, 30 years I've been in this plant. I started from the bottom and I'm out where I'm at today. And it's in your face. The boot on my right foot is all scuffed up because you know where it's been. They love my boss. We all went to his funeral after they found his body. They love the guy. They love me. We get the job done because it's in your face. Well, certainly you could lead that way. Taking an autocratic approach can get results in the short term. In the long term, though, taking a more coaching and positive approach generally will lead to higher productivity and employees will tend to buy in more. And that's why we created the series of training videos for your frontline supervisors. Training, training, Woo take your train down the track. Don't want anything to do with that. My goodness, you go to training, you get the day out of the shop, you talk to the guys, you have a nice lunch. St hey, God, I told you not to do it that way. Do it the way I told you, get that job done right. Training, you go to training at stale coffee and donuts, Nobody gets anything out of that. It's not going to make any difference. Well, he's got a point there. A lot of training doesn't generate the kind of results that we're looking for. So we created three ways to ensure better application of our training program. First, we ask people to document their insights or their takeaways. These are their intentions to use what we've taught them in the training video. Second, we ask them to meet with their manager. And that does two things. One is it communicates what the supervisor or manager intends to apply on the job and it also might rub off on their boss and change their behavior too. And finally we have them document what they actually applied and how it impacted their department. So you can use those stories to reinforce the learning and to show real return on investment. Hey! Maybe they may get something out of it. Uh, you know, no, maybe they may get something out of it. But you know what? They go back to the plan, back to the job. And they'll be doing the same old crap. Well, sustainability is a big problem in most training programs. After all, it's usually an event and then nothing happens afterwards. In order to make our program more sustainable, that's why we created so many different learning modules so that you could use them over a longer period of time to both reinforce the basics and also explore some of the other nuances of being a frontline leader. So this sustainability could really transform your organization. Experience, that's the best teacher. I learned everything I need to know on this plan. It only took me 25 years. Ah! Smooth move, genius. I'll tell you the best school. It's the school of hard knocks. Well, no one can deny that experience and learning from your mistakes are great teachers. And yet they're also very expensive. So while your leaders just bumble and fumble from problem to problem, they also may cause excess turnover and a drop in productivity. By proactively investing in their skills and abilities, you'll be heading off some of the big problems they may run into. And I look forward to having you take part in our Frontline Leadership series. This is Frontline Leadership. I'm Greg Schenkel. Well, maybe there is something to this. Supervisors, maybe I should send them and get something out of it. Maybe there's something to it. Hey, what are you doing over there? Thought I told you not to do that. I'm going to come over and kick your butt.